For this section, we're going to do a video insert into the presentation, and I'd like to uh, introduce, before we go any further, Seth Carl, uh, who's part of our Applications Engineering group here in uh, Winona, Minnesota. And Seth is going to be kind enough to do some uh, uh, wrench turning uh, with a 3 8 inch grade 5 zinc plated bolts. And we're going to see just how accurate our torque predictions, torque tables are uh, from this torque slider. For those of you that have seen trainings uh, before from Fastenal, uh, we use this Skidmore Wilhelm torque tension device a lot and it does a great job of really explaining some of the importance of torque. Uh, so what I've asked Seth to do is take a 3 8 inch grade 5 bolt that says on our torque charts we should be tightening to 31 foot-pounds unless we're putting any lubricant on it. Uh, we want to see how accurate that is. What we're really after is the clamp force. Uh, and this will tell us that 4,940 pounds is the perfect clamp force. We can't get exactly to that number, so Seth's tightening to a, as close as he can get to 5,000. Seth, what'd you get for torque to get there? Uh, 32 foot-pounds. 32 foot-pounds. I'll take some notes here. So our first tightening was basically right on. That's good. Uh, let's loosen that and tighten it back up again. We're going to simulate a, a retightening. On the previous video, we showed what happens if you retighten a non-lubricated bolt and that it's going to take more torque to get to the same clamp load. So when you retighten it this time, we got 48 foot-pounds. 48 foot-pounds. Let's do one more. So the third time, we would be removing the oil pan and tightening things back up or whatever it is we're doing to reuse a fastener. We're going right back up to that same 5,000 pound load. We got 60 foot pounds. 60 foot pounds. Do one more thing for me if you can. Can you tighten it to the 31 that we were supposed to be at? Because if I'm a mechanic tightening a wrench, uh, I'm just going to look at this torque table. What do we really get for a clamp load if we tighten to 31 foot-pounds? 1,500 foot-pounds. Okay, 1,500. So we're way less than half of where we wanted to be for the clamp force. And clamp force is really what's important in a joint. Uh, now, if you are sitting in one of our trainings, what normally happens is I'm sitting in the background while Seth is doing all the work, and I pretend I'm not interested in... I'll eat a Cheeto or two, uh, or Doritos, or lots of different types of product. And then I'll grab uh, a bolt, and I'll make sure that I rub my fingers on the threads a bit, and put that back in the tester. <clears throat> what I'm simulating here is what happens if you uh, go to lunch, <clears throat> you have some Doritos, some cold pizzas, some leftover chicken from last night, uh, and you get your hands a little bit greasy. It doesn't have to be an actual lubricant that you're using on the bolt. Now Seth's tightening back up to 5,000 pounds. How much torque did it take this time? 20 foot pounds. 20, so way less than the first time. Let's tighten a second time so we'll stay consistent. Got 18 foot pounds. Notice this time with a lubricant, the torque actually dropped a little bit in terms of what was required to get to the clamp load. 18. Okay, third time. 18 foot pounds again. Okay. And let's go ahead and tighten to 31 because if you're the guy turning the wrench on the assembly line, you don't realize that by putting lotion on your hands, even just running your fingers through your hair, or eating some Cheetos, uh, that you changed the lubricity. We got about 72.50. That is actually at or over the minimum yield strength of this bolt. So my point here is that without even knowing it, uh, you could have yielded the bolt <clears throat> just by having Doritos, Cheetos, pizza, or something. You also with a dry bolt, since it takes more torque the second and the third and the fourth time uh, that you're tightening, you end up getting a lower and lower clamp load, so you could end up with a fatigue problem, again, breaking the bolt. So understanding exactly what to tighten to, incredibly important. Thanks, Seth, for being a part of this.